clients throughout Asia have been participating in our auctions in New York and London for many years now. We feel it is the right time to bring a curated exhibition of Impressionist and Modern Pictures to this part of the world. We've curated this exhibition especially for this market to bring really the best quality works that are on offer as well as the artists that we know that appeal to Asians. The modern masters we have chosen for this exhibition were the towering and innovative figures of the late 19th and early 20th century. Beginning with Monet and Renoir and the invention of Impressionism in the 1870s, to artists who lived into the late 20th century like Picasso and Chagall and Salvador Dali. These are all artists who pushed art past the idea that it must represent and illustrate something. That the painting doesn't have to be faithful to the actual world, it only has to be faithful to the impulse of the artist. Monet is really one of the progenitors of modernism. Monet and the Impressionist we're trying to capture the contemporary experience, being alive in the world. Our work is called Les Demoiselles de Giverny. It's actually showing us a field of sheaves of hay and wheat. But the hourglass shape of these stacks reminded him of women in gowns. He called them the women of Giverny, swirling with their skirts out. This painting was executed in 1894, and the decade of the 1890s was a crucial moment in Monet's career. He was searching for a new direction in his art, and he arrived at it by painting the same subjects over and over again in a serial fashion. But instead of changing the scene before him, he allowed the qualities of light to change. He would paint the same scene at a different time of day, under a cloudy sky, under a sunny sky. And what he was exploring was the fact that there is no single fixed reality. As the atmospheric conditions change, our perception of the scene changes. Renoir was born in 1841 and came of age as an artist in the 1870s. Renoir focused a great deal on his domestic environment. He used his family frequently as models. He wanted to, you know, depict the simple pleasures of his life. Art no longer by this point had to be in the service of teaching grand lessons of history or uh, putting, you know, nobles and royals up on a pedestal. Art could be about the experience of daily life and what was closer at hand than his own family, the interiors of his own home, the gardens that surrounded it in the south of France. The title refers to Renoir's son Claude, who went by the nickname Coco, and the nursemaid Leontine. He explores the composition with glorious color. The reds virtually glow, but it does not become immaterial. There's almost a sculptural sense. You feel the mass of these two bodies. The two figures almost become one beautifully three-dimensional object. Picasso is arguably the single most towering figure of 20th century art. Every decade of his life showed newer and newer innovations, showed him pushing the boundaries of art, creating new styles of representation. We so often think about Picasso's art in terms of his lovers at the time. We often categorize a painting as a Marie Therese painting or a Dora Maar painting. Picasso met Dora Maar in the late 1920s, and her image figures most prominently in his art. She was his mistress of the years of World War II. She herself was a photographer, an artist, and an intellectual. So unlike many of his other lovers prior, she was challenging to him. Generally, Picasso always showed the women passive. Dora Maar, however, is always looking at the viewer and also at Picasso. He's really conveying to us that experience of his life with her. There is a gravity always when he paints Dora Maar. There is a sadness. There is sometimes an anger uh, in her dark eyes. There is more of a severity in her mouth and expression. I think through her countenance, he really relays to us that specific moment in history where the world was struggling uh, and the future was unknown. This is an incredibly exciting adventure for me personally and all my colleagues. This is an opportunity for us to meet and share the passions and enthusiasms we have for these artists, for these artworks, with a wholly new audience of potential collectors and art enthusiasts.